Well, if you're prepared to get up early tomorrow morning, rug up and stand outside, you should catch a glimpse of four planets aligning in the eastern horizon. And if you're prepared to do the same thing several days in a row, you might be lucky enough to see them dance. Astronomer Professor Fred Watson from the Australian Astronomical Observatory joins me now to explain the phenomenon. Professor Watson, what will people see if they're willing to set their alarm? Well, it's, a, it's an unmissable... All you have to do is look east, look low down on the horizon, and the first thing that your eyes is the planet Venus, which is dazzlingly bright, but you'll notice that next to it is Jupiter, which is the next brightest planet, and, and two others, Mercury and Mars, all close together in the eastern sky. Well, what's the benefit of watching a few days in a row? Um, what you will see is the planets changing position relative to one another because, of course, the planets are all in their own orbits around the sun. Uh, their motions carry them uh, around the sun, and as we see them from the Earth, we see the alignments varying very slightly. They, uh, uh, as, as you said earlier, they literally done. Is it visible to the naked eye, or will people need a telescope? Oh no, you're better off with the naked eye, forget the telescope. You couldn't use binoculars, binoculars always give a nicer view of things like this. But um, the planets themselves are really what it's all about, the fact that there are four of them together in the sky. There's only one naked eye planet missing from this, and that's the planet Saturn, which uh, is currently gracing our evening skies. But all the other ones are there in the morning. And I believe we've got to wait till 2040 till we see five planets in alignment. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 8th of September 2040, put it in your diary. All five naked eye planets will align in the western evening sky. So it'll be the other, other end of the day and the other end of the sky, but it'll be even more beautiful. Professor Fred Watson, thank you. Great pleasure. Thanks, Tracy.